Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we'll look at scrolling blend modes in Illustrator and if you know very much about Illustrator you'll know that it can't be done. Well I've got a solution. But before I start I just want to introduce you to my training at Udemy and at Skillshare. I have links for you in the description below that give you deals on both Udemy and Skillshare courses. Now back in Illustrator I have a document here with a pink square and a green square and I want to blend the green square into the image below. So I'll go to the appearance panel, click on opacity and select a different blend mode. Now you can't use shift plus and shift minus to scroll through blend modes. In fact there is no shortcut key for scrolling through blend modes in Illustrator except that we're about to create one. So what I'll do is go to edit and then keyboard shortcuts. What you'll do is you'll probably be using Illustrator default so I'm going to do just that. I'm going to make sure that I have selected tools and not menu commands, that's critical. And in here I'm going to type the word blend. And when you do you should see this list of things. If you have chosen menu commands you won't see that same list so it's critical that you're actually looking at tools. And what we're going to do is scroll down here because we have an option for next blend mode and previous blend mode. And of course in Photoshop that's shift plus shift minus. So what I'm going to do is click here and I'm going to press shift and the plus key. And that will set that as the key stroke that I can press to scroll forward through my blend modes. So I'm going to do that. I'm also going to set one for going in the opposite direction which is shift minus. So I'll click here and press shift minus and I'll click OK. Now I'm going to call this a different name for this key set file. So I'm going to call this Helen's scroll version because it's different to Illustrator's default. So if I go to edit keyboard shortcuts you'll see that we're using Helen's scroll version. If we wanted to we could always go back to Illustrator defaults but you can't write keyboard shortcut changes into Illustrator defaults. You have to create a brand new set. So we're going to stick with this version and just click OK. Now I'm going back to selecting this square here, go back to the opacity. I'm going to select a blend mode and now shift plus will take me forward through the blend modes. I'm going all the way down to luminosity. Now shift minus will then take me back up the blend mode. So I can go forwards and backwards with the exact same keystrokes that I use in Photoshop because they're built into Photoshop and what I've been able to do is to build those same keystroke combinations into Illustrator. If you use blend modes in Illustrator you're really going to like that keyboard shortcut setting. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And until next time, thank you for joining me here on my YouTube channel.